Well, this is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it because he has made me glad. And in case you didn't know, the rest of that verse says, send now prosperity. Listen, I'm Greg Davis and you're watching Greg Davis live right now. We are in the studios right now live of the Greg Davis live show. Listen, somebody's on the other side of the phone. Somebody's on the other side right now to take your call. 855-730-WORD, 855-730-WORD, 855-730-WORD. The prayer calls, uh, prayer partners are available right now. So call right now. 855-730-WORD. It's going to be a wonderful program. God is going to be moving in a mighty way today. Whatever you are in need of today, God is going to do it. Joining me today will be Prophet Apostle Bishop Avernus Johnson. This is a great day. Today is a day that will change your life. Joining me before then, though, she's 18 years old. She goes to the church that I attend in the city of Detroit, the Triumph Church. Shout out to my pastor, Solomon Kenlock Jr. That's right, even though I'm an evangelist and I've pastored, I've been in ministry 30 years. Let me tell you something. I have a home church that I go to. And this young lady, uh, she hangs out here with us at Word Network. And now she's a part of the team, uh, one of our newest prayer counselors. But guess what? She's only 18 years old. She has a prayer call, literally with over 1,000 people that's on it. She periscopes it. 18 years old, God has given the prayer ministry. Welcome, Micaiah. Thank you for having me, Bishop. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Look at what the Lord has done. I'm excited to be here. We're excited for you to be I here. I was in the audience. Now I'm on the stage. God is good. How Elevation. does that make you feel? Feels like I'm being elevated, so I'm grateful, thankful, yeah. because it could be anybody, but it's yeah. me. Yeah. So when did you know, because you pray like you, you've been around here like for, <laughs> for years. <laughs> Thank you. When did you know that there was something on your life for prayer? So I got called when I was 17, which was just last year. I tried to run from it because I already knew what I wanted to do. I was going to school to be a lawyer. And the more I tried to run from it, the more and more it chased me down. So I said, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. And then I started doing it and I started doing it more and then I started doing it more. And now I'm at a point where I can't see myself doing anything else ever in my life. Like ministry is my baby, it's my everything. What's the pressure? Being a millennial, uh, what's the pressure at being 18 years old? And I mean, you pretty much live in church, mm -hmm. you know. Um, what's the pressure from the outside? Everybody else is having fun, enjoying mm -hmm. life, going out, but you've dedicated your life in a young age mm -hmm. to the Lord. The pressure is all of my friends in my ear. So it's so much peer pressure on me. Um, it's what people may think about me. But I had to make the decision to stay focused and to not get off course and to not let anyone distract me because I know that this is my purpose and this is my calling. And I'm walking in my calling and later I'll be walking into my destiny. So it's just staying focused. I can't get distracted. A lot of my friends are doing things right now that they should not be doing. I'm praying for them, but I have, I've, I've made the decision to just stay focused and to give it my all because when you give it your all, you, you don't lose. Yeah. So you just started college. Yes. And uh, you're in your first week. But mm -hmm. in the midst of that, you came up here the other day mm -hmm. and I had let you loose in the prayer room. Mm -hmm. And just so happened, you didn't even know who was standing there. Uh, Mr. The Dell was standing there. <laughs> and, and you didn't even know he was the owner until a few minutes ago. I just I he said, so who's the owner? <laughs> and he told Jeff immediately, he said, who is she? And said, he's, she's with Bishop Davis. Mm -hmm. And he said, we need her to be a part of it. And you started when? Yesterday. Yesterday was my first day. I'm so grateful. I love it. Just being, I, I want to say to somebody, you got to be in the right place at, at the, the right, right time. time. Uh, Prophetess Cox is here today, and I'm looking at her uh, because she hung out with Lexi. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't even know how long it was. And then now she has her own show. Mm -hmm. People don't understand. You got to get around people that the anointing of God is on their life. I and always tell people, if you hang around four broke people, you will be the fifth one. If you hang around four wait, millionaires, wait, wait, wait. you again. will be the fifth wait, one. Wait, I, I like <laughs> These preachers going to take it. You say if you, if hang, you hang around, around four broke people, you will be the fifth one. If you hang around four millionaires, you will be the fifth one. You are who you hang around. The birds of a feather flock together. I had to stop hanging on corners to go to hang with preachers. I'm hanging with preachers now. Now I'm a young preacher. Living, living witness, living testimony. You hang around four broke people, you're gonna be the fifth one. You hang around four millionaires. Either way it goes, you're you gonna be the... whoever you hang around. <laughs> Absolutely. And she hung around the word network. Nah, nah she the I'm fifth here. one. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Listen, here's what I want to do. We're going to go to break. Here's what I want to do. We're going to go to break, and we're going to bring out the guests. Makaya is going to the prayer room. I want those of you that are listening right now and watching, you're praying for your daughter. You're praying for your son. They're millennia. You're praying for them to come in. I want Micaiah to go to the prayer room, and I want her to pray for your children. Amen. I want her to pray for their breakthrough. Amen. I want her to pray for them to be covered. I want her to pray for them that they'll be the next preacher in your family. 855-730-WORD. Dial the number that's on the screen right now. Makai is going to welcome to the Word Network. Thank you, Bishop. And you're going to be you're going to be a part of it. You're going to draw in those yes. millennials. I'm even let you be a part of our Wednesday program and all that stuff Absolutely. that we do. Listen, I want to I want to also say to you, those of you that have ordered our brand new healing Bible package, thank you so much. Uh, but there are many more of you. We have designed this package. Uh, let the healing begin. Our healing Bible. We have designed this. And we want to get it to you. Matter of fact, we're going to go to a commercial right now that's going to tell you about our brand new healing Bible. And when we come back, hold your seats because the prophet is here. Today is the prophetic day of Greg Davis Live. We'll be back. Hi, Mr. Greg Davis, and I want to introduce to you the very special healing Bible. That's right. I have designed a Bible along with the Word Network that is called the Healing Bible. Inside this Bible are scriptures that I have specially picked out of the Word of God to speak into your life for your healing. Spiritually, financial healing, mental healing, whatever it is, you need to get this Bible in your hand. Let me tell you something. It's a topical reference Bible that you can study the Word of God, but then there are 27 other books inside the Bible. Right now, I want to send it to you, the Healing Bible, along with the prayer cloth, along with Let the Healing Begin CD Part 2. All these three for $109. So a seat of $109. Chose nine because nine represents healing. And he healed them all. 39 stripes. He was healed with 39 stripes. $109. Order now the Healing Bible Package. Do it right now. $109. Eight five five seven three zero word. That's eight five five seven three zero word. Uh, we're doing two things. You're calling now, and you're putting the names of your children. Uh, Micaiah is going to pray with you right now for your children. Then you're ordering for one hundred and nine dollars. I want to get the healing Bible package in your hand. Uh, the, the cloth, along the prayer cloth, along with part number three, uh, part number two of Let the Healing Begin. Many of you have part number two in my journal. I'm raising up an army of 390 people that will believe God with me for healing supernaturally, healing divinely, but I'm also raising you up so that you can lay hands on the sick. As I get older now, it's not just about me. It's about raising up others. So get this in your hands so you can do it now for a seed of $109. Literally, you've been, you've been calling for them. But listen, don't stop. I need that 390 because I'm going to call you together and we're going to come together and equip. And this young man is going to be with me because he has been a part of my life literally ever since I started pastoring in the city of Detroit. When I pastored in the city of Detroit, uh, somehow, somewhere, I don't even remember how we met. All I know is a lot of things that he's done. He launched, I've been every step of the way with him and every television show that I've had, he's always been a part of it. And so it is without any doubt that on my first week of Greg Davis Live that he would be here. Only reason why he's here today is because he didn't been to Africa with Teresa Cox. <laughs> they didn't been to Africa. So he's only, he's, it's Thursday. So he, he had to get in when he got back from Africa. So he's fresh with a fresh anointing on his life. I want to present to you my friend, the prophet. Amen. I know you're a bishop. I know you're an apostle. But in my life, you are the prophet. Amen. And how do you know uh, that a, a person walks in the prophetic because what they say come to pass? Come to pass. And you have texted me. you one of them prophets like Elijah. You know, you come in to get a word and you run. <laughs> you don't say nothing right. else. He has prophesied to me, and I promise you, 
you've been on target because what you say come to pass. Amen. Prophet L. Vernon Johnson. Well, it's an honor to be here. It's always an honor to be with my brother. I consider you my elder brother. Uh, you've looked out for me for many years, and we, we have a great history together. And uh, it's such an honor to be here to watch God continue to take you to the place where he has you because your voice is necessary, and what you do is necessary in the body of Christ and in the world. Thank you. You're straight back from Africa, so what I'm going to do, we got about 19 minutes. Okay. I'm going to give you about 15 of them okay. to do whatever the Lord <laughs> says. If you need me to say something along the way other than amen, you take the camera, and I want you to be prophetic. I, I didn't get you. Go ahead. Do amen. Well, we, we are fresh off the boat, uh, as they might say. Uh, God did a great thing in South Africa. We watched God uh, manifest his glory and miracle signs and wonders. And I just want to say this, that it is so important that we understand uh, the place that the prophetic has in our lives. Uh, a lot of times, because of a lot of things, we sometimes minimize the power of the prophetic. But it, it is the prophet's proclamation that expedites the will of God in our life with precise precision. In other words, there may be things in our lives that are stuck, th things that have not come to pass yet. It is the voice of the prophet that God has ordained in the earth to move those things rapidly to fulfillment. And right now there are folks watching us today who have been believing God for something and you're kind of stuck between the promise and the uh, manifestation. You're right between the place where God has spoken it, but it hasn't come to pass. And God allows the prophet to come and to expedite that with pre precision. Today, Elijah in the book of 2 Kings uh, had a situation where, where it was a famine in the land and people were dying. They were eating their own children. And he stood up and said, by this time tomorrow, you're going to be able to do what you could do yesterday. 24-hour miracle. When I came in the building today, I could sense in the anointing there's a 24-hour miracle for somebody right now. By this time tomorrow, what was impossible will be possible. Not, not. You saw the young lady sitting in this chair. Yes. She came here Monday. You, 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 you are so on it. This is what God, she came here Monday just to sit in the audience. Went, I, I had uh, Bishop Robinson here, and I said, you know, we're all going to the prayer room. I'm even taking Micaiah in there. She goes in the prayer room to pray for people. Yeah. Kevin Adele is standing there. He says, who's that praying? You know, who's praying on my prayer line? You know, and he the boss, but I trust her anointing. He said, we need to hire her the next day. She brought a resume. My God. She was trained yesterday. She was hired during this day. How many hours? 24 hours. People think, and I have to stop you, because people think that this is a joke, that we, when we get on TV, this is not a gimmick. You better listen to what the man of God is saying. You better listen to the words that's coming out of it. This bracelet just get. You better listen to the words that's coming out of this man's mouth today because God is going to go ahead. I didn't mean to stop no, you. No, no, no. The confirmation is always good because there's somebody who is struggling and they need to understand, like you said, we're not joking, we're not playing. When the prophet speaks, he says, surely I will do nothing in the earth except I first reveal it to my servant, the prophets. Now, understand prophetic destiny. Paul says to Timothy in 1 Timothy 1.18, I charge you therefore, Timothy, that you war with the prophecies are spoken aforetime on you. Aforetime is the same word in the Greek as it is in the Hebrew in Jeremiah 1, when he says, I knew thee before I formed you in your mother's womb. And what I'm trying to tell somebody today is God has already spoken words about your life and given you what's called a prophetic destiny. We all have it. We all have a prophetic destiny, which means we're going somewhere in God. Something was spoke about us before the world began. Paul confirmed it when Paul said, according as he has chosen us in him before the foundation of the world. Which means before all this began, before your trouble began, before your trials began, before somebody lied to you, cussed you out, told you it was ugly, but you didn't want to do nothing. <laughs> before all that happened, God had already spoken the word. True prophets, Bishop, can only speak what's written on the scrolls of heaven. We can't make up words for you. We can't conjure words for you. We speak what God has already spoken. We're, re, uh, we're announcing or declaring. Now watch this. Remember when, when, when the Bible says Elijah was by the brook? The brook dried up. He was no more water, no more raven. God said, get up and go to Zarephath, for there I have commanded, E.D., commanded a woman to sustain thee. We get there, he asked for water. She says, fine. He asked for cake. She said, I don't have no cake. Wait a minute, didn't God just say he commanded her? It was in her spirit, but it was the prophet's proclamation that brought it to life. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the spirit is saying to the church. Sometimes you are sitting around on your miracle. 
but you need the declaration of God's prophet to speak into your life. And that's why I'm here today, because somebody's watching right now, and God began to deal with me about the number 77, and, and I was trying to figure it out. He said, I'm about to bring people into a double portion. 2016 will yield you a double portion of everything, both body, soul, and spirit. God is bringing us into a completion, number seven, but then a double portion. Elijah says to his father, Elijah, give me a double portion of your spirit. Elisha did, Elijah did seven miracles. Elisha did 14. We're about to see a generation that is going to multiply by two everything we've seen in the time past. We pray about revivals of old. We ask God to do it again. God said, I'm not doing that again. I'm going to do more than I've ever done before. And we're in the hour right now of the more than enough, the, the surplus, the overflow. And what God is doing in this hour is causing those people who have been waiting patiently by the brook to get up and go to your next place of provision. And that's what God is doing. He's shifting us. And shift stands for sure hope in future transition. Sure hope in future transition. I'm going somewhere. And the reason you made it, the reason you withstood the test of time is because you had on your life prophetic destiny. It was already predestined. And your warfare is all based on who you are to be. It's based on where you're going, not where you've been. And so it doesn't matter where you've been. Right now, God has anointed you, chosen you, and called you to move into your prophetic destiny. But you've got to understand that's connected to Mark chapter number four. Now, let me slow down. Mark 4 says a sower went forth to sow. Mm -hmm. And some fell on good ground, some fell among the thorns, mm -hmm. some fell on stony places, and then some fell on good ground. Mm -hmm. Now, watch this. I, I wrote a book. It's called 16 Things to Remember in 2016. Mm -hmm. And one of the things is that all you need is in your seed. But then God arrested my spirit in prayer one day. He said, wait a minute. I want you to make an amendment to that because you can have a seed and no ground to put it in. And with that good ground, your seed is worthless. Everybody has to have some place to sow their seed into in order for that seed to grow. Without good ground, your seed wastes because it falls among the wayside. It falls among thorns. It falls among stony places. And when I walked in the building today, the Holy Ghost, well, I asked him, I put up in the parking lot, and I sat outside for about five minutes. The Spirit of Lord, he said, look at the name of this building. And it said, the Word Network. He said, do you understand that my word is being taken across the world? Do you understand? Right you, from here. Right from here. You're sitting on good ground. You're in good ground. And when you plant a seed into the Word network, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God, and the Word was God. He said, understand, I've run it. You need a ground to sow your seed into. Now, I'm talking to somebody right now who's praying about sowing a seed. Do you're it. stuck between the place where God has called you, prophesied you, made you a promise, but there's been no manifestation. And what you're missing is good ground to sow your seed into. And I promise you, you, you're looking at and you're watching good ground. The word is going across the world, over 200 countries, 96 million homes. People are being changed every day. And when you sow into that, you're sowing into lives being changed. You're sowing into the gospel being preached. Right now, there are several people who I'm talking to. The only thing that stands between you and your miracle is your seed. He says to the widow, go and get me a teach, cake first. Teach, prophesy. And people yeah. say, why we ask this old lady who's a widow, no husband, for her cake? Some of you all would talk about Elijah like a dog, but let me help you. In the Bible says in the book of Luke, there were many widows, but only one was sustained. God sends the prophet to where a miracle is needed. He sends his word to a place where it's most needed. The other folk didn't need that. God don't send his word to those who already have it. He came to seek and save that which was lost. And sometimes when you meet the need of the prophet, then he can release the word of God over your life. Jesus said, if you believe the prophet and receive him in the name or authority of a prophet, you receive that prophet's reward. Elijah's word was in his mouth. She needed what was in that man's mouth. And when he, she gave him the cake, he said, I declare to you, that your, your, your cruise of oil will not fail and your meal will never run dry. I'm talking to someone right now who's in a crisis. And you're in a situation where you absolutely cannot even afford in your mind to give a $77 seed. But as a prophet of God, I'm telling you, there's an anointing right now in this studio for 24-hour miracles. And you need to go to the phone right now and sow $77. And I ask God again, why 77? He says seven completes it. And the next seven brings an overflow. And what you need in your life right now is an overflow. You need something beyond the norm. Someone right now is in between a rock and a hard place, and you can't afford for the natural process to happen. You can't wait seven days. You can't wait five days. You need a miracle right now. And to do something, to get something you never had, you must do something you have never done. I'm challenging you right now by the authority of the Holy Spirit, by the prophetic word that lives in my mouth, that if you go to your phone right now and dial 855-730-WORD, that's 855 
855-735-7300 word and plant that seed today. I guarantee you inside of 24 hours, you're going to see supernatural divine provision come into your life. God is going to turn that thing around. Another, another widow in the book of Kings, her sons are being taken away by the creditors. She comes to the prophet. See, every time in the scripture, when somebody had a breakthrough, they go to the prophet because God has placed an anointing upon that prophet's life. That's why when you bring a prophet a glass of water in his authority, you receive a reward for that. Yeah. God honors you when you honor his word. The reason why Jezebel hates the prophet, she's not a woman who wears makeup. She's not about earrings. She ain't about nothing. No. Jezebel is a spirit that no. hates the prophet right. because it is the influence of the prophet that turns the heart of an entire nation. Let me, let me say this. Some of you all have confused the prophetic anointing with the word of wisdom and word of knowledge. Come on, teach and, us. And, and those are gifts in the body yeah. that do edify the body, do perfect the saints, and do work the ministry. But the office of a prophet is different from those who have a gift of prophecy. The, the prophet can speak a word, and God has no intention of doing it. And he says, Isaiah, but because you spoke it, I'm going to catch your words before they hit the ground. Yeah. See, see, the office of the prophet allows you to uproot and allows you to plant, tear down, and build up. You can say some things, and then God will honor what's on your mouth. And I'm telling you right now, I hear Even God if say, he didn't plant it. Even if he didn't plant yeah. it. He said, I'll catch your words. I'll watch over them before they fall to the ground. Because God has to honor the word of the prophet. Now listen, uh, uh, the, uh, Elijah goes to, 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 to the house with Gehazar, yeah. and, and, and the woman constrains him to come in, and, and she builds a room for him and all that. He says to her, what do you want? She said, I don't need nothing. I'm rich. I'm fine. He said, can I speak to the king for you? No. Can I help you? No. I'm fine. He says, find out what the woman needs. She don't have a son. He says, come here. He says, by this time, by the time of birth, nine months from now, you're going to have a son. She said, don't lie to me, prophet. Why? Because I made myself okay with not having what I really want. Yeah. I, because my womb is old, my husband is old, I made myself okay yeah. with not wanting it. There's somebody right now want a dream. You've been dying for this thing to happen, and you made up in your mind, I'm not going to do it. And God has sent me to tell you it's not too late for that dream. He says to her, by this time in nine months, you're going to have a son. Yeah. That wasn't in the plan. That wasn't a scope of things, but because he spoke it, God allowed that seed to go into that husband and go into her Because brother. he spoke it. Because he spoke it. And what are you doing today? I'm speaking. I'm speaking reward over your audience. <laughs> I'm speaking reward over those who are watching. I'm telling you yeah. that God anoints certain people with the office of the prophet. You don't ask for it. Now, let me help you with this. Nobody who knows what it costs wants to be one. Yeah. The only folk who want to be a prophet is those who don't know what it costs. Yeah. The cost behind it is so great. I have no idea. You're hated without a cause. Mm -hmm. You're persecuted without a cause. Mm -hmm. And things happen to you. You pay a price. Look, look at uh, 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 the, the prophet Hosea. I mean, dude, I don't, I, I don't want, I don't want, <laughs> no, that's okay. Right. I'm good. Right. <laughs> look, right. look at Jeremiah. I right. mean, and you look at all the prophets. It costs a lot. Right. But when God chooses you to be an oracle, when God chooses you to be a voice for him, he always, he always blesses you. He always makes it okay, but it's a, it's a price to it. And right now, God sent me here. And, and, and it's not even odd that I'm here on Thursday. Watch this, because we, we're in the season of four. We have four months left before the year is out. Four is the number of the supernatural. Yeah. Why do I say that? I say that because there were three boys thrown in the fire. And then the fourth one showed up, and that was the son of God. I said because Lazarus was dead for four days, and Jesus raised him on the fourth day. I said because on the fourth day of creation, God made the sun, the moon, and the stars in light. So four is the number where God enlightens you. It's the number where God steps in your situation and your fire, and the number where he brings dead things back to life. And we want supernatural the natural way. You can't have a supernatural move a natural way. It, it, it has to be down to nothing. You ought to get to the point in your life where nothing else is going to work. Nothing else is going to happen. And then God shows up in your fire, shows up in your grave, and turns the revelation around that your best days are ahead of you. Right now we're in fours. So I'm here on a Thursday. It's, I'm supposed to be here on the fourth day of the week to declare to you a supernatural season is coming in your life where everything after the day is supernatural. I don't care what it's been like, even to you, Bishop. I'm talking right directly to you. God has ushered you into an hour Hallelujah. of the supernatural. Everything is coming to you in a supernatural way. And if you hear me right now and sow that seed, if you go to your phone right now and dial 855-730-WORD, 8 Five five seven three zero word and plant that seed of seven to seven. I guarantee you that God is going to cause a supernatural increase in your life in 24 hours. We are going to the prayer room. I'm taking Hallelujah. Teresa Cox. I'm taking everybody in here. We're going you, to the prayer room. He is going to prophesy to those that call in after the program. 855-730-WORD. In the middle of the day on a Thursday, God has a... 
Here's what I saw while you were talking. There's a woman you were cleaning up in the bedroom and literally as the word of God went forth, as he was speaking, you sat on the side of your bed That's with the towel and whatever you were cleaning and you have been arrested. God is talking to you. Here's the other thing that I heard while he was talking. There is, there is a businessman that's watching now. $77 is nothing for you. God is speaking to you to go uh, exceedingly abundant above all you can actually think. Give that seat of $770 and it's going to bring your business out. God gives me this word every now. I'm not taking away from what he's saying. $77, 855-730-WORD. We're going into the prayer room. He is going to prophesy to those of you that call. If it takes us 20, 30 minutes, whatever, flood the lines right now. There are 30 of you that are going to give that 77. Here's what he's saying. You are between, you are between promise and and possession. All the hell that you've been through, all of the things that you've been through is because God has taken you from promise to possession. I have a book that I wrote, From Promise to Possession. That's what he's saying. You're in the middle of it. But he says it's not going to take long. Just like Micaiah said here, uh, she was in the prayer room praying and, and all of a sudden the owner was there. He said, hire her. God's taking you from where you are to where you're supposed to be. We got about three minutes, sir. Amen. And, and, and there's a gentleman watching. Uh, your first name is Edward, and your last name begins with the letter T. And the reason why I won't call your last name is because this is a very sensitive situation that you're in right now because it deals with your marriage and your family. And God is speaking to me right now that he's about to heal and restore in your home and cause all those things to come into divine alignment. Forgiveness is coming and restoration is coming. You need to call the number that's on the screen, 855-730-WORD, and let me connect with you. Call, call now, Edward T. Call, and when I go to the I want to minister to you more in depth of what God is saying. And if, you, if you're listening right now and you need a breakthrough, a word from God, we all need to hear from God. Call us here at the Word Network, 855-730-WORD. I'm going to minister to you in just a few minutes. Right now, we're leaving out of the studio in about three minutes, and we're going to the prayer room. He is going to speak into your life. Teresa Cox is here. I'm putting her to work. She came to see him because they just came from Africa together. So they are knowing it. I didn't go to Africa. They're here. She's going to get to work, y'all. She's coming on next month, every month. But she's here. We're going to team up. Don't forget, we're praying for your children. Makai is in there, 18 years old, going to be praying for your children. But right now, we are moving you from where you are to where God sees you, from promise to possession. I'm going to ask, as a matter of fact, I'm not going to let you end us in prayer here because we're going to end in prayer in the prayer room. We're going to the prayer room. What's the seed again you want them to sow and why? You, we got about two minutes. Look into that camera. There's a seed offering of $77. Seven is God's perfect number of completion. It's this number of rest. Seven plus seven is double portion. You need a double portion of God's anointing, of God's intervention, and God's spirit. And you need a financial breakthrough. And right now, I urge you, go to your phones and make that donation today. And you're sowing on the good ground. Every seed needs a ground. Are you hearing me? You can have a seed in your hand that does you no good. You have to have good ground to sow it into. And the Bible said you use 30, 60, even 100 fold. But, Jer but, but uh, Moses prayed in Deuteronomy 111, may the God of our fathers make you 1,000 times more than you are today. I pray for a thousand fold return on your seed. This is the time to do it. This is the hour and this is the ground in Jesus name. We can find you in Flint. You can find me in Flint, Saginaw, and Saginaw, Michigan. You can find me on the World Wide Web at AlvernusJohnson.com, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and everything else they're doing. And soon we'll find you on the Word Network because we're trying to find some time. Yes, sir. You. Amen. You, you Amen. Can't, yeah. In Jesus' Listen, name. Listen, the man of God, we're going into the prayer room. He's going to prophesy to you. Teresa Cox is here. She, she don't have a mic on. I would let her come get loose, but we got to go. 855-730-WORD. There are literally 30 of you that's going to sort that $77. And of course, for $109, we want to send you the healing Bible that has been designed by myself and the Word Network. We want to get this into your hand. We're going to see you next time right here on Greg Davis Live. Every day, 1 p.m., 1 p.m. every day right here on your Word Network. Father, we believe right now for the miraculous. We believe you for the supernatural right now. With your stripes, we are healed. And we decree and declare that this is your day, God. We release your anointing on the people right now. 855-730-WORD. We're going to the prayer room. He's going to prophesy to you. We'll see you next time.